Kijk. Just saw Tilan Samarawira there as he was getting ready to face that delivery. Just mouthing. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. Watch this now. Watch the ball. Watch the ball. And that's the last ball he's going to have to watch today. Maria Erasmus has decided it's too dark to continue, even with the spinners in operation. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be stumps. So Tillan Samarawira has ended the day with the bat in his hand. What a remarkable day's cricket, though. We've had 17 wickets today. And at the end of this remarkable day, New Zealand are on the brink of a little bit of history. They haven't won here since 1998, and they need just six more wickets tomorrow to put the record straight. Second test match of two, day four. The Royal Stag Mega Cricket Cup Series with 412 plays 225 for six in Sri Lanka. They are 187 runs behind in the first innings, but they were looking more and more solid with Summit Aware there, not out 76, and Matthews, he got 47, Honovatana got to 40, and uh, even Randeev chipping in, he's got his highest test score with 34, not out. Southie looked the pick of the bowlers once again, swinging it and uh, creating problems on and about off stump, and uh, Trent Bolt, he too looked good. Tal got a wicket, and of course, uh, Todd Astle on debut having a little bit of a rip and a tweak as well. And we saw Kane Williamson in the attack. He uh, got a couple of overs. So, uh, lots to play on. And make their way out into the middle. Umpires are out there. Here come the batsmen. Samarawera and Randeev to continue. And uh, first voices, first commentators, Russell Arnold and Craig McMillan. It's about getting through this over quick for Williamson. Edge picked up. Brilliant bowling from Trent Bolt. And that's a big one. It's Tilan Samarawira, Martin Guptill. Well, that's a piece of cake for him. The rock is gone. Trent Bolt's the man that's done it. Again, another edge, but this time in the gap. First run for Sri Lanka on the fourth morning. Back first. Yes. He's given him the shape into Randi was good, but I did get the impression that he hit his pad first. We'll have a closer look at that one, but looked pretty straight to me though. I think that was test wicket number 22 for Trent Bolt. Rangana Herath goes for the big one, and he'll get four, so he gets off the mark with the boundary. Oh, good shot from the little left arm spinner. He's going to come out and play some shots. Well, it's going to be exciting because Rangana will play his shots. If there was a frontline batsman, he would play for him. <laughs> yep, gets it through. That'll be four more to Kulasekara. Edge. Taylor hangs on to it this time. With the sunnies on. Edge, what a catch! Absolute screamer, Kane Williamson. Bolt gets four, that's the end of the Sri Lanka innings. Two of the best catches you'll ever see, one from Guptill and now Williamson. Absolute snorter, airborne and sign him up at Manchester United. That is incredible. And great pictures. Side on, look at that. Ah, oh, 10 out of 10. Fantastic camera work. Joy for Trent Bolt, four for him. Sri Lanka all out for 244. And the 168 run lead is the second biggest for New Zealand in Sri Lanka. And this is the match situation. So New Zealand now have got the opportunity to build on that lead, set Sri Lanka some sort of target in the fourth innings. And we'll be back shortly with the start of that New Zealand second innings.
They fought back yesterday, adding 182 runs in a truncated day of 69.4 overs for the loss of just three wickets. Past the follow-on mark. Incredible to think Martin Guptill was out in the first over of the match. That seems like an absolute eternity ago. Yeah. Whipped away through the onside. Off the mark now, Brendan McCullum in convincing. Yeah. Outside edge from McCullum. Some work for Randiv to do. Any? He... Oh, it's a good piece of fielding. Has he cut it off? No, maybe not. Gone all the way. Judging by the re reaction, we'll have to have a look upstairs. He's not sure. Driven, driven really hard by McCallum. Nice placement, lovely cover drive. We'll pick up four. Cut away hard by McCallum. That is a nice piece of timing. Very quick onto that, just a touch wide from Kula Saker, and it got punished. Edged and taken on the second chance. Got a second go at it. Dushan, the man in the gully, very lucky that it popped up and he made the most of it. Driven, lovely shot through the covers from McCullum. Good piece of timing and he'll pick up his fifth boundary. Touch full from Moranga, paid the price. End of the over. New Zealand, 39 for one. Cross. This one's fine. And it's a race away for four. You just get into that uh, area of about leg stump. Here's the reverse. Oh, well, well, well. Shades of coloured clothing on. And it has gone to the fence for four. Extraordinary stroke. Oh! Beauty. Absolute beauty. And he's gone. Stumped. Didn't even have to come upstairs. Nigel Long. Had the index finger raised and he knew it straight away did Brenna McCullum. Brilliant cricket all round, Rangana Hera. A little quicker and Prasanna Jawad and how quick was he? He had to go fetch it and flick the bales off. He's looking very dangerous, Brendan McCullum. Gone is he, yeah. Outside edge. Just looking at it live from outside the com box. It was just a little tentative drive. He thought about it and then he went for it. More room. Ah! Pad first and gone! First ball, it hit the pad first, then the bat. Question is, did he get outside the line? Nigel Long doesn't seem to think so. The finger is raised. It's the fourth one now. Ah! In the air, taken. Kruger Van Veik is out. First ball, good catch around the corner. Regan Haraf has done it again. And all of a sudden, New Zealand in a spot of bother. Oh, what a great shot that is. Todd Astor. And Todd Astor is making his intentions absolutely clear. Looking to get on with it, heaving that one out towards deep mid wicket. And it's just flicked back. The batsmen are looking to run four. And they've done it. Well run. Clipped away over the onside. That's a lovely shot. That'll go for four. 50 outside edge from Astle. And that will go all the way for four. Quarters of the Sri Lankan team. Driven by Taylor. Lovely shot through the covers. Beautiful shot from the New Zealand skipper, and that will bring up 50. Top knock in the second innings, follows up as 100 in the first innings. Just what his team needed. Superb stuff from Taylor. And that's his first boundary in the half century. The shot that brought up his landmark, and this is what's known as leading from the front. We saw him on the first morning of the test match, talking to his players, cajoling them, asking them for more. And he certainly has delivered. Here we go. It's one day cricket all over again. Oh. And uh, can't believe this. They're <laughs> going to go upstairs and 
They're saying this is out. Sweep onto the boot and off the foot. Well, he's had a bit of luck as Todd Astle has it run out. We're going to go upstairs and have a look at this one. Grandi, just going to check that uh, front foot. That's fine. That's all legitimate. Off the boot, and that's going to be out. Can you believe it? You're going to have to, Todd Astle. Easy catch in the end. Just loops up for Dilshan. And has he got enough on it? I don't think he has. Good night, Doug Bracewell. And he can hit the ball a long way, but he's got out to Rangana Harris. And uh, he's popped into a gap. He's got to come back. His captain wants to strike. No, he... Oh, and he'll be gone. He'll be run out. And this is not good for New Zealand. Had to come back. And uh, Tim Southey won't want to be looking across at Ross Taylor for too long. Forget. Yeah. Be, uh, out. Don't bother coming back. That's almost run out. He just carries on, Jeet and Patel. As soon as he missed it, he just kept walking. 99th stumping. He's disappearing. The dressing room, and there's a little outside edge. And they all count. This will go away for four. Off the mark with a boundary, Trent Bolt. Southie goes big. Has he got enough of it? You betcha. Straight down the ground for six. Big blow to finish the over. Well, it's called him in, Ross Taylor. Tim Saudi jogging back after hitting that massive six. In fact, he has more sixes than the skipper in Test cricket. Oh, he's had enough. Sri Lanka needing to score 363. If we take all the overs remaining in this test match into account, 128. And that's how this match sits. New Zealand 412 in the first innings. Sri Lanka replied with 244, 5 for 62 from Saudi. And New Zealand declared 194 for 9, meaning Sri Lanka will need to chase 363 for victory. Join us after the break and we will see how Sri Lanka go. Gun's hand obviously not a concern. Took a knock to the thumb earlier in New Zealand's batting innings. But he's out in the middle, so that's a good sign for Sri Lanka. Swing, that looks pretty straight, and he's got him first delivery. Southie's done the trick. Not from Nigel Long, and that was a very good delivery. Nice and straight, and Paravana Patana is on his way. Nice full, and he's off the mark. Nice full toss. And that will be a cover drive for four. And a nice way to get off the mark. Oh, a little swing. It's beating the leg stump. It's beating the keeper. And will run away for four buys. What a delivery that was. Hands on the head. How's that missed the stumps? Oh, that's still shattered his best. Given a little bit of width. And he's flogged it through extra cover for four. Or the outside edge. Sangakara wasn't sure where it had gone. It's gone all the way down to the boundary for four. Yeah. Edge! And he's gone. Dilshan dismissed. Looking for the big drive. Saudi finds the outside edge. Yep, gets it fine. Find a goal, so very square, so that'll run away. That's got his first wicket, and what a big one! Sangakkara looking for the glance, the ball going on to the stump of his thigh pad. Well, they just want to check his foot. Lovely shot, that'll be four. Or will it? Just makes it. It's gonna be hard. It is a learning yeah! curve, and this is a great learning curve! You little beauty, Doug Bracewell. He's learning quicker in the second innings. Again, a nothing delivery, but to Bracewell's credit. Catch! Just saw Tilan Samarawera there as he was getting ready to face that delivery. Just mouthing, watch the ball, watch the ball, watch this now, 
Watch the ball. Watch the ball. And that's the last ball he's going to have to watch today. Maria Erasmus has decided it's too dark to continue, even with the spinners in operation. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be stumps. So Tillan Samarawira has ended the day with the bat in his hand. What a remarkable day's cricket, though. We've had 17 wickets today. And at the end of this remarkable day, New Zealand are on the brink of a little bit of history. They haven't won here since 1998. And they need just six more wickets tomorrow to put the record straight. Well, that's the story of the match. And things really have moved on today. Sri Lanka in a whole heap of trouble and New Zealand on the brink of ending the losing streak they've lost five tests in a row prior to this match doesn't look as though they're going to lose this one we've got one day to go and I hope you can join us because it's going to be an absolute cracker I can promise you that